Big time, baby. So in this video, we'll talk about how you can create a winning team and company culture that helps you win championships. Last week, you guys tweeted me your responses of becoming a real-life success story. These are some of the best responses I got, and I felt they really came from a very deep place in your spirit, so thank you. Check these out. And the winner from last week's Twitter challenge is at KJordan. So please DM us your mailing address, and we'll send you the book, how I raised myself from failure to success in selling from my desk to your address. So in this episode of Living Money Smart, we're gonna be doing a YouTube best comments challenge. It's Life Insurance Awareness Month here in September, and we're gonna be selecting a random winner to win this book by George Jordan, Life of Significance. He was a speaker at a convention a couple weeks ago, phenomenal speaker, but even a better book. So to the random person that comments below, the answer that we'll be posing at the end of this video, you have a chance to win this book from my desk to your address. Also, if you're watching this video on Facebook, I hope you click like on our Facebook business page. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. In an industry where the average agent is a 59, 60 year old Caucasian male, how to create a company culture where 51% of our team is Latino and 53% are women. How did we attract a younger millennial Generation X demographic to entertain an opportunity to work in this industry? In fact, Paul Feldman, owner and publisher of Insurance News Net Magazine, had a pretty interesting thing to say when I caught up with him at O'Hare right before he was supposed to leave on his next flight. Check this out. This industry is pale, stale, and male. I think there's a huge problem in this industry. Yeah. There's more people leaving the business than are coming in the business. Right. This means huge opportunity for anyone thinking about getting in this business. 70% of Americans are either underinsured or they have no insurance whatsoever. They need your help. What PHP Agency is doing is really helping families. In a previous vlog, I shared that we've grown to four bigger offices in three consecutive years. And in that video, one of the talking points is about us developing a system and more importantly, a culture. What type of culture are you recruiting people towards? Is it just purely just money? Is it purely just sales? Here's the thing, we believe in mission over commission. It's this movement that got us featured in a major industry publication, not one month, but two months in a row. My wife is great in systems and processes. I'm great in agent recruitment and personnel development. Starting to think about scalability. Once we installed scalability into our conversations, our practice grew from a practice into a business, and therefore we're now traveling all over the world and we're not worried about income. In addition, our work got covered by CBS Radio, it got covered by Military.com, and also the Huffington Post. How do we do it? One word, culture. It's about creating a vibe in your environment that people don't get anywhere else. My mentor, Patrick Bed David, stated in one of his videos before, creating a company culture. And he talked about retention just as important as it is recruiting. So here's my five best tips on how the Money Smart Movement team of PHP Agency has been a three-time back-to-back-to-back MVP of our company and in the running for the team of the decade, which will be decided at the end of next year. Tip number one, personal life. Check your problems at the door. We got our own problems and we don't want to drag anybody else down. We just know that in our business, as we excel, will help us create the financial resource to elevate above where most financial problems exist. We're focused on success in our business because we realize money can help solve a lot of issues. Number two, find out what moves your people. Simply put, not everybody is motivated by the same thing. I ask our guys, what do you guys want to become? What type of office do you want this to be? Do you want this to be the number 17 office in the country? Or do you want this to be the number one office in the country? Do you want to be an average and ordinary type of office? Or do you want to be a winning championship type of office? 
And then I ask, why is that important to you? And in their answer, it really gives me an insight on what is important to them. So therefore, I can craft a message or give direction that is not only motivational and inspirational, but also strategic and directional. Tip number three, music and pranks. Entrepreneurs, attend. Oh, hustler, baby. Oh, hustler. I just want you to know. Ah, ah, I know you should have got this big ass office. Motion creates emotion. Money is energy. We love to kick off our meetings with a pregame routine. You see, just like athletes get ready in a locker room or in the military, I got ready for missions by listening to Sliding Steel. <laughs> Music, jokes, and pranks keep things light and entertaining. Tip number four, values and principles. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. We always talk about why we fight for our family and why we work as hard as we do. We're here to build something not just for the short term, but we're focused in on the long game, on creating generational wealth. Ray Dalio wrote in his book, Principles, this message to his company, Bridgewater. I want you to think, not follow, while recognizing that you can be wrong and that you have weaknesses. And I want to help you get the most likely best answers, even if you personally don't believe that they are the best answers. You see, at the Money Smart Movement team, we're all here to grow not just financially, but to grow personally and as an individual. Tip number five, competition. See, we build teams that win championships. We have contests going on throughout the month and throughout the year. See, they range from shopping sprees, they range from world travel, they range from experiences. Why? Because we just don't want people making a living. We want them to build a lifestyle. Best part is we get to join them with our children, our spouses, our parents, and our families. See, in a system of capitalism, the rewards don't go to the most talented person. Rewards go to those that perform. It's about who does and who continues to bring value. It gives the rewards to those that embody our crusade to serve the multicultural middle class that has been so overlooked and underserved by the insurance industry for so long. Bottom line, we've created a movement of people brand new to the insurance industry that's never had a financial or insurance background. We're helping people see that insurance, this industry, this company, this office is cool. And for some points, it's sexy. Everybody, everybody thinks Wall Street's cool. Everybody thinks gold and silver, Bitcoin technology is cool. What about insurance, man? We're here to make insurance cool again. By the way, did you notice that none of my talking points were about product? What moves people is emotion. What moves people is transformation. And make sure you check out the most recent podcast I was interviewed on by Rod Rodriguez of the After Action Report podcast. I was visiting a brand new office that we're building with Leonard Morton, a pastor in Manassas, Virginia. Watch him rock and watch him build. All right, that wraps up this episode of Living Money Smart. And it's time for our YouTube Best Comments Challenge. So comment below to get a chance to win this book, Life of Significance by Joe Jordan, answering this question. What's one way you can add value to your company culture? If you're watching this episode on Facebook and you're watching it up until this point, I hope we earned a new like on our business page. If you're watching this on YouTube, we also hope we earned another subscriber on YouTube. So make sure you click subscribe and notifications to be alerted the next time we upload the next episode. Meanwhile, tell me your thoughts, comments, drop them below. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.